Um, so, so we're gonna learn how to angle beam calibration conventional UT using a 45 degree shear wave. So you say it's 45 degree wedge and the transducer is two and a quarter megahertz. So I'm gonna go on menu screen, click wizard, part and weld. We choose the material over here to aluminum. And uh, finish. Then we go to setup and start. Group mode, conventional ultrasonics, application, angle beam. Next. skew we don't change it this is pulse echo single crystal so pe wave type is going to be what shear wave okay so we choose that next frequency frequency is 2.25 yes and then the angle is on the wedge it says 45 finish so that's my setup, and now I can move on to calibration. So remember, we always go from top to down, left to right. Okay, so we move to calibration, type ultrasound, mode. We can calibrate both together, so velocity and wedge delay together. Start. Now, the reflector type that we're gonna choose in this type of block is these two radii. Okay, so radius one and radius two at the back. This is two inch and this is four inch. So echo type is radius. And radius one would be what? Two inch. And radius two would be four. Next. Set gate A on radius one. So I need to get the signal for radius one. I'm going to place my transducer right somewhere about this line because that's kind of the center for this radius. And so I place it there, try to get a signal, and move it back and forward till it maximizes. You can see that little signal right there. I need to bring it to 80%, so increase the gain. So that's kind of where the maximum is. Then what do I do? I need to get position for this one. So I have to move the gate on this signal. So I use the start to move the gate there and then hit get position. Now it says set gate A on radius two. Radius two is just the radius on the other side, which is four inch. So you see that signal at all the way at the end? That's your four inch signal. Try to maximize it right there. And then increase the decibels to 80%. And then what? To get position, move the gate on that signal, right? So you move the gate on the signal and get position. That's it. So now you can verify if you want. The beam path here says four. And if I want to check the other one, which was the two inch one, I'm going to move the gate over there. The beam path says almost 1.99, which is two. So that means we are calibrated and then we hit accept. That's it.